the supervolcano may be preparing to explode with explainable consequences. Scientists have long warned about the potential for an eruption at the US-based caldera, an event that would wreak havoc not only in the United States but throughout the world. Modern humans have never witnessed a supervolcanic eruption. If they have, it's likely they wouldn't be here this time. This is because such an eruption would most likely change the direction of the planet and send it on a completely different path. Super volcanoes are different from regular volcanoes because these volcanoes have eruptions of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale according to the Volcano Explosivity Index VEI, which means that at one time, the volcano erupted more than 1,000 cubic kilometers 240 cubic miles of material. The most recent major eruption occurred on August 27, 1883 in Indonesia, when the island of Krakatoa almost collapsed and triggered a huge tsunami. But Krakatoa was an ordinary earthquake and not like a super earthquake like the Yellowstone caldera in the US, a supervolcano that scientists had warned about for decades. Volcanic activity first began in the Yellowstone National Park area about 2 million years ago. It was at that time that molten rock, magma, emerged from within the Earth and produced three powerful eruptions that were more powerful than any eruption recorded in world history. Fortunately, Yellowstone has not experienced such an eruption since although its potential volcanic activity was explored in the short What If documentary, What If the Yellowstone Volcano Erupted Tomorrow? Here, the narrator notes, Right now, in the US, one one of the largest volcanoes in the world is preparing to explode. If Yellowstone decides to erupt, the impact will be devastating. The volcano has erupted three times in the last three million years, leading some people to wonder whether we should worry about another eruption in the near future. However, if an eruption occurred tomorrow and you lived in North America, there would be a major eruption. There's nothing you can do to prepare. The geologically near future could be hundreds of thousands of years away, but this documentary looks at a hypothetical situation in which Yellowstone erupts lava. Most of Yellowstone's magma would not turn into lava because the intensity of the eruption would force most of it into the sky. While this is good news for those around the volcano, this does not eliminate the risks and dangers associated with other types of volcanic eruptions. In fact, it will cause more damage, sending plumes of ash across America and Canada, and up to, to Europe. Tens of millions of people within a radius of 1,000 kilometers, 621 miles, will die, because once inhaled, the ash will form a cement-like mixture in the lungs and cause suffocation. Meanwhile, outside, buildings will collapse. Just 30 centimeters of ash is enough to collapse the roof. Ash will still pose a danger to life beyond the 1,000 kilometers range, where at least one centimeter of the toxic material will settle. The world will experience huge temperature swings due to persistent cloud cover, dropping by around 10 C and lasting for 10 years, causing something known as a volcanic winter. Crops will be destroyed by the ash, as will water supplies and most important natural supplies others that humans rely on. The United States Geological Survey USGS reports that Yellowstone is behaving as it has for the past 140 years. It is very likely that Yellowstone will be free of eruptions in the coming centuries, it said previously. The region last experienced a major eruption about 630,000 years ago, 
Previously, these events occurred 1.3 million and 2.1 million years ago.